Hi, my name is Isin. And my name is Tari. We are change makers in SST. In secondary one and two, we were involved in SST Student Change Makers program and integrated the skills we learned from innovation and entrepreneurship, infocom technology and art, design, media and technology classes. In these classes, we had many new experiences such as learning how to use microbits, create mobile applications with Xcode, write business plans, craft marketing features, icon designs, animation and sharing stories through videography. In Secondary 1, we all participated in the 3M InnoScience Challenge. We had the first-hand experience in developing a product to solve a real-world problem. Following the design thinking processes, empathize, define, ideate, prototype and test, we came up with useful solutions to address health and fitness problems in our groups. My group came up with an anti-slip shoe sole for the elderly to access the bathroom safely. Not only did we have to build a physical product, we also had to create a digital model and an animated infographic for the challenge. Eventually, we got the award for the best infographic. I applied the skills I learned through real-world applications in the innovation and entrepreneurship bazaar when I managed to convince friends and teachers to buy cup noodles at a marked up price. However, we did serve the cup noodles to the customer's satisfaction. In secondary 2, my class decided to set up a game spoof during the bazaar where customers can play Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch. Because there was no cost involved in setting up the booth, we made a profit of 100%. But the highlight of my Change Makers program is InnoFest 2018. InnoFest 2018 is a two day, one night camp where we had the opportunity to develop our empathy towards the challenges of the elderly in 2030 and beyond. We worked throughout the night until dawn and participated in surprise activities the teachers introduced every two hours. The role I had during this Makerton event was a maker and designer. I designed a user interface for a mobile application and had to ensure that my designs were organised and suited for the users. This improves the user experience of the mobile application. I was the leader and teacher. I made sure our group worked towards our goal and pitched our group's idea to the judges. The challenge that I faced was building the physical product which involved programming the chip and making the model work. I also had friends who were marketers, encoders or programmers. We work together to solve problems we identified in the topic, the elderly challenge. The best prize the winners of InnoFest 2018 received was an overseas learning experience trip to Shenzhen, China, dubbed as the Silicon Valley for hardware in the world. For my first time in Shenzhen and China in general, I found it to be a very bustling city. There were many people around and we had quite a tough time maneuvering through the crowds to get to our destination today. This school is more of a maker school, so we use LED lights and motors and all that. Right. So you're saying that the school in Shenzhen is more on project based yeah. and a lot of makers culture? Mm -hmm, definitely. So we are here to facilitate a summer maker program for the young kids over here in Central American International School. And basically what we're doing right now is that we are looking up on how to use all these software so that we can teach them how to do it. Right now what I'm doing is I'm doing microbit. I am doing a program on how to code something meant for Mars because that's a theme right now. It is making a storyline about a mission in Mars. My happiest moment was when I uh, was able to 3D print a figurine of a Snorlax. It was a good day for everyone at Shenzhen American International School. This morning, we will be going to Troublemakers, where we will learn to buy a phone part and assemble a phone. This evening, we will be also going to Chai Hua to meet the DIY Robocar community and we might be able to hear their stories and learn how to build a robot car. The rest of our learning journeys were to Shenzhen, Kingsong Intelligence Technologies that produces innovative unicycles.
functional apparel which sews clothes that can keep a person cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Ono 3D ink that builds smartphone 3D printers This trip to Shenzhen opened our eyes to the ground-up maker culture in this city. We also heard from entrepreneurs the challenges they face, the sacrifices they have to make, and the need to keep persevering and innovating to stay ahead. Being a change maker is no easy task, but we need to keep at what we believe in and keep impacting society.